Okay, so you just got your server. Good. Then you also set up Yala. Otherwise, you will need to watch my other tutorial. So basically, uh, now I will show you how to fix settings, like the name of the map and stuff like that. Basically, if you want to change the name of the map, I change it here. But if I only change it here and I do not edit the name here, it will create a new world. So basically, if you want to create a new world, then you just change name in server properties. But if you want the same world but with a different name, then you rename both the folder and the level name in here. Okay, so I'm gonna create the world that is World of Toru. I'm gonna start a server so that you can see that it's been. It is, didn't I? Ah, there we go. Now you see World of Toru is starting. But if I instead of doing that, if I do like this, I, re whoa. I remove the world of Toru. I rename this thing to world of Toru. Now I start the server. Yeah, spawn area will always load every time you sp every time you start the server. Yeah, doesn't take as long. So yeah, next thing. Now I have the name of my map. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put allow nether to false because A I don't really get the idea with nether and it creates lag. It becomes more laggy. A spawn monster is true. If you don't want it to your server to be peaceful, you have this spawn monster true. Online mode, I said to true because no wait, I said it to false. If you want people who have cracked version of Minecraft to be able to join your server, then you put this to false. Otherwise you put it to true. I put it to false because I want to join my own server. Because I have cracked Minecraft. Um, max players, I put this to 15. Server IP, not needed, don't add it. I have some plugins that require you to not add it, so I would suggest not add it. PvP, I always set this to false, I don't want people running around and killing each other. Level seed, don't mind. Server port, don't change it. Allow flight, I put this to true because of many mods have flying in them. Whitelist, I put this to false. Now whitelist is that you type in the names of those who are who should be able to join your server. It's just bad because what the hell? It's just bad. If you don't want someone to join your server, you just ban them. Not that hard. Okay, now we're done with this. Now we're gonna check on the little error we get the first time we start it. Not enough RAM. That we're gonna fix. We're gonna create a little launcher for our server that will change the RAM of our server. So create a new text document. Go in on it. Go to File, take Save As. Rename it. Take all files first. Then rename it to Start Server. Dot Bat. Take Save. Uh, now you can remove the text document you just made because you have created a server start server dot bat. I'm just gonna get a little some lines from my other servers. Yeah, this is how a mod service looks like. Oh, I cannot go in here. I'm gonna show you that later in another tutorial. So we're gonna edit it. I'm gonna edit it with Notepad++. It's made for scripting and stuff. But you're gonna just open it in a Notepad. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So this is the. This will be uh, the thing you start the server with. If you want this on your desktop, you will need to create a shortcut to this one, not the, the Minecraft server dot yar. Yeah. Like this will be in the description, of course. Okay, I think we're quite done now. <coughs> yeah, uh, I will also make a tutorial on how to open your port. So if you don't know how to do that and I haven't done it before, uh, just what I will, I will have a link in the description. Yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. See ya.